And StackCast powered by Google Cloud. We take a closer look at Castillo. The most 97 plus mile per hour pitches in a postseason game since the start of the 2015 postseason. Thor at the top of the list. Noah Syndergaard was 67. That was now six years ago in the NL wildcard game. But Castillo yesterday against the Jays and Luis Severino of 2017 ALDS. If you're looking for velo and power arms, Luis Castillo gave that to you. And it's interesting when you think about a guy being acquired. Trade deadline. Jerry to pulling up a lot here, Ruben, to get him. But you talk about delivering and some. Castillo was as good as advertised. Hey, you can talk about all the things that Jerry DePoto did for the last eight years, all the trading mumbo jumbo. But when it came down to getting the right guy, I'm about getting the best guy. It's Roy Halladay. It's Roy Oswalt. Uh, Cliff Lee. Mm -hmm. When you get a guy like Luis Castillo and he's available, you got to go get him. You have to get this guy because he's the best there is and he's an energy type of a guy. I've seen a pitch in Cincinnati when there's a whole, not. Not a lot of energy there, but when it's when it comes to like the big games, he stepped up. He stepped up in a huge way, just like Roy Halladay did in his very first time as a postseason starting pitcher. He throws a no-no against a really good Cincinnati Reds team. I mean, when this is what I this is why it's so important to get the best guys. I'm so surprised that there were so many other teams that had opportunities to go get Luis Castillo. Yeah. And so many guys fell short. I mean, why didn't the Yankees go get him? Right. I mean, you, there's nobody who's untouchable when you're trying to acquire a guy like Luis Castillo, knowing that you can act, you have the wherewithal to be able to resign him, which is exactly what Jerry Depoto in Seattle did. Well, when you know you're getting a guy that's going to make this kind of difference in the postseason, and we see Scott Service said yesterday, he's wired for these moments, and it is clear to see that Luis Castillo was ready for that moment. And like Ruben said, incredible hats off to Jerry for going and getting the best player on the market and getting a game one playoff win because of so. And we can go to my tape and yeah. it, we'll, we'll show some of what makes him it, impressive. And then yesterday, you will see him tick up in his fastball. We, we've seen Luis Castillo all season long. I've never seen him use two different fastballs and I've never seen him up to 100 miles an hour. And look, that's 99 two-seamer running. This is two-seamer up at the top. There's a four-seamer straight and you see just true. They're Vlad, right? that's 100 miles an hour tying up the best player that they got. You see right here, these balls are in the middle of the plate, but they're just too much to handle. That's 100 on the corner. That's 99 with a little run, and you see weak fly ball, weak contact. And here's the bat that I thought was fun. You see Kirk, change up. You ready for that fastball? Nope, there's another change up. You think I'm throwing the fastball? No, nope, there's change up. He, the guy went back and forth so good yesterday. There's another change up to Kirk. That looks like a Pedro Martinez change up in there. Hmm. Watch this back and forth. 98 sinker up by your face. Change up for a strike. 98 four seamer away from you. 98 sinker coming in at you. Then I'm gonna throw that change up away. 99 up at the top of the zone. Slider off that and a pop up with 98. The back and forth. Guys never knew what was coming, just like they never knew what was coming when Pedro Martinez. And yesterday, that change up that Louis was featuring with the fastball that we know Pedro had as well. These two guys are wired for big moments. They live off the energy and the atmosphere. They want the ball. Whit Merrifield said he was a killer on the mound yesterday. <laughs> That's the opposing team yeah. gave you that much of a compliment and then he felt that way when he was in the box. Luis Castillo was absolutely dominant yesterday. I'd never seen the hundred, the two seamer, and he used his slider more than he normally uses that changeup.